transhumanists believe science and technology will solve humanity's problems. And on their view, humanity's problems originate from our evolutionary heritage, meaning specifically we evolved with limits to our cognition, biology, and psychology. So their solution is to merge technology with human persons so that we can overcome these limits to become a new species of post-humans. And by that, we will achieve artificial immortality. Transhumanists envision a post-human triple S techno-utopia of super intelligence, super longevity, and super happiness. No more gods, no more faith, no more timid holding back. Let us blast out of our old forms and ignorance our weakness and our mortality. The future belongs to post-humanity. The singularity will allow us to transcend the limitations of our biological bodies and brains. We will gain power over our fates. Our mortality will be in our hands. We're not going to argue against all of their assumptions. We're just gonna grant those, those assumptions, but I need you to know them anyway. The first big one, is the, they have a materialist philosophy of mind in human persons, okay? And that means there's no aspect of the human person that can't be explained by physical forces. So there's no soul, there's no immaterial soul that survives the death of the body. The human person, the way they understand it, is a bundle of molecular and cellular complexes that can be engineered and manipulated. So now we suffer from old age and death. And this is the problem they see that needs to be solved. And this is a, the rival, if you will, worldview of Christianity, because we believe that the human person is a composite of body and soul, right, created by God in the image of God. The other thing that they assume is an evolving human nature. Human nature is a work in progress, a half-baked beginning that we can learn to remold in desirable ways. We can take charge over our genetic programming and achieve mastery over our biological and neurological processes. We'll enhance our intelligence, our memory, our senses, reshape our emotions by integrating technologies into our cells. Humanity is one step along an evolutionary path of development. They ultimately desire to be free from biology, our bodies. The other thing that's so interesting is they are counting on achieving the super happiness project. No amount of human enhancement related to cognitive and super longevity will guarantee a greater degree of happiness. So what they plan to do is use genetic engineering and neuropharmaceuticals to abolish human suffering to raise our hedonic set point so that we're happy all the time. All of these things can be critiqued um, to argue that their claims won't be realized. And the reason, the main one is the, their materialist philosophy of mind and human persons. We could argue that they have an inadequate philosophy of what a human person is. The one thing about that I like about talking about transhumanism with the gospel is um, we have common ground because we're talking about the same big questions. We just have different answers. So they've got the big questions right. They're just trying to, uh, the solution is with the works of their hands and not God's grace. The way Christianity views the problem of our human condition is due to our rejection of God, we experience spiritual and physical death and separation from God. The solution for transhumanism is just to transcend our physical limitations to merge with technology. But remember, there's not any solution on transhumanism for sin. And the gospel, by God's grace, Christ offers atonement for our sin and by receiving his offer, our spirit and body can be redeemed. Our spirit and body. Salvation on, text, tech, on transhumanism is a technognostic escape from our body. The gospel claim is that we're reconciled with God and ultimately a resurrected body we will have to experience the new heaven and earth. So embodied existence is essential to our humanity. Their view of death, or overcoming death is uploading brain patterns to a computer and the digital super longevity, but it's only until the heat death of the universe. So actually, they don't actually overcome death. They prolong it 
for the gospel, we have true immortality beyond this broken world, and we will transcend our finite limits, we'll transcend sin and death. The gospel achieves the truest form of transhumanism, if we think of transhumanism as transforming human beings, human persons.